What's up, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream 1080p 60 frames per second without any annoying lag. So if you're looking for the buttery smooth streaming that your viewers are going to appreciate, this is the video for you. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is run a speed test. We wanna make sure that we could run 1080p 60 frames per second on YouTube or Twitch, depending where you are, comfortably. Okay, this is extremely important. So you can do either fast.com, which I use, or you can use speedtest.net to run the speed test. Okay, so for me, I have about 33 megabytes per second uh, for the upload, which means that I could take nine megabytes from that and run it very, very comfortably for the 1080p 60 frames per second. So you run that test and you see the number that you get. If you're over 50, you're great. If you're over 100, you're great. If you have a gig internet, you should be extremely fine. So nine megabytes per second is not gonna be an issue for you. Uh, so the goal here is to get comfortably above nine megabytes per second. Once you have that comfortably, then you are good to go with the setting for that particular bitrate. The next thing you wanna do is set your gaming mode. So the way you do that is you go to the search bar and from the search bar, you wanna write gaming and it's gonna give you the game mode settings. You click that. Okay, so gaming mode here. Optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. You wanna check that and make sure it's on. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna check my Nvidia settings or AMD settings, depending on what you use. You want to make sure a couple of things are active or set your 60 frame per second is set in your settings so you can go in the bottom right of your pc you have either the nvidia box or the amd box depending on their icon what they have for that once you click that it should open up a panel for you uh, to make certain adjustments on the things for your pc so as you can see right now, it's opening up the NVIDIA panel. Uh, so for me, I just wanna look at a couple of things. I wanna make sure those things are set. Uh, first thing I wanna make sure that set is the max frame rate. I have that at 60 frames per second. And the next thing that I wanna check is the vertical sync, the V-sync that is set to on. And sometimes what some individuals will do here is they will set the power management mode to something else or like the max of whatever that would be. Uh, I tend to leave that on normal and then from there i leave this particular panel the next thing that i want to do is run obs in admin mode okay so the way we do that is we find the obs icon on your pc so we have it right here obs studio i want to right click on that and then go to properties and then from properties i want to go to compatibility i want to check this box here that says run this program as an administrator click that right make sure that box is checked hit apply hit okay so now what's going to happen is it should have this yellow and blue shield on your icon as well from now on so whenever you double click obs studio it'll pop up this menu and you have to hit yes so what that does is make sure that resources are dedicated to obs every single time that you run obs the next thing that we want to look at is live encoder settings bit rates and resolution so at the beginning of the video i shared that nine megabytes per second is ideal for 1080p 60 frames per second now where did i get that number why did i say nine megabytes per second so here in this youtube help page uh, for the encoder settings bit rates and resolutions we're gonna i'm gonna show you exactly where i got that number so as you scroll down this page one of the things that you're going to see is right here 1080p at 60 frames per second you hit the drop down and there's your number 9000 kilobytes per second that is where i got that number from so it wasn't a number i just picked out i just wanted to make sure that you saw that so i want to scroll down a little bit more i highlighted a couple other things uh 1080p 60 frame per second here a video codec it talks about the keyframe uh, frequency which is two seconds it gives you aac or mp3 settings here it says constant bit rate here, which is extremely important, especially if you're doing live streaming. And for the audio bit rate, it says 128 kilobytes per second, which is the internet standard uh, for audio bit rate. But the other thing to consider here as well, 
you can max out at 160 uh, kilobytes per second for YouTube and you shouldn't have any issues. So these are the settings and this is where you get the exact number that you need when it comes to YouTube streaming. So how does all of this come together? So let's look at the settings and I'll show you exactly what I have, okay? So starting with stream, I have the YouTube RTMPS. Now I've connected stream elements to my OBS. I use regular OBS. Uh, and basically what it does is connects your account. And from there, it automatically connects with the YouTube live platform uh, for certain things, right? So the other thing I want to show you here, which we talked about earlier, 160 kilo kilobytes, not kiloframe, kilobytes per second. Uh, that is the maximum for YouTube, which although 128 kilobytes per second is the industry standard, internet standard, you can go to 160 and be fine with YouTube. The next thing I want to show you is the output. So from here, we'll focus on the streaming streaming tab only, uh, advanced output mode, uh, audio encoder, FFF, FFmpeg AAC, and the video encoder is NVENC if you're able to support that. If not, then you're going to be using H.264 over here. Uh, rate control is constant bit rate. The bit rate is 9,000 kilobytes per second. Keyframe is two seconds. Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. Uh, preset is P6, slower, better quality. This is the recommendation of NVIDIA. So just want to make a note there. Uh, tuning high quality, multi-pass mode, two passes, profile is high. And then scrolling down some more here. Uh, look ahead is checked. A uh, cycle visual tuning is checked. And GPU is what it is, which is I only have one GPU here. And then your max B frames, you have two. Okay, so these are the settings uh, for the advanced output mode uh, for OBS. So we're going to go to audio. I want to make a quick note here for audio. A uh, sample rate that I have is 48 kilohertz. Uh, if you have one thing that is 48 kilohertz and another thing that is 44, make sure everything that you're using is one number. If it's 44, have everything be 44. Your mic 44, your board 44. If it's 48, then have everything 48. So you have no lag in between your audio because you're using different sample rates. So that is extremely important. Make sure you're using one sample rate. If it's 44, then 44 across the board. If it's 48, 48 across the board. Okay, so so that's that. Of course, I have my, my Ono caster for my speakers and my microphone. Everything else I have disabled here. I didn't really touch anything in this particular section, uh, but we'll move on. So video, video we're doing 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's what we're doing here. Uh, 60 frames per second. That's already uh, selected here. So nothing more to see here than that. And then from hotkeys, I don't have any hotkeys set, accessibility, nothing here set. The only thing I have set here in the advanced tab is process priority above normal. That's debatable here since we did the uh, admin mode for OBS at the beginning. Uh, this may not be necessary, but uh, I still have it set as above normal. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that as well. And these are my settings uh, for OBS. One thing that may come up in questions uh, in the comments is what do I have my audio bit rate set for? So I want to show you that real quick. So let's go to the audio tab. I have mine set at 160. So if you made it this far in the video and you appreciated all the value that I've given you, uh, please make sure you do a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do want to show you one more thing. We've done all the checks and balances to make sure that we're going to get a buttery smooth 1080p 60 frame per second stream and our viewers will be extremely happy about that. But I do want to show you one more thing in the help section and OBS. Once you go to help and then from there you would go to log files and you would click upload current log file. So. What that does is it shows you any situation that's happening that you could potentially fix uh, based on checks and balances and, you know, checking your setup and things of that nature. So we're going to click analyze, right? So once you click analyze, you get a screen like this. Okay. 
so here as you can see this is what we want to see okay so obs log analyzer uh, so it says this analyzer will review an obs log file for common issues and problems and provide suggestions for how to solve them so as you can see we are pristine here there's no critical issues no warning right so you want to make sure this is exactly uh, like this when you're looking at the obs log analyzer 